Oh, hello my friends. Bruce here. Okay, so this is your typical lawnmower. Doesn't matter who makes it. It starts and stalls. This one is made by Powermore. Yard Machines is the company that puts it all together. And uh, I'm just going to check the oil in it. Boy, it looks brand new. I've done one thing to this lawnmower, and if you look right here, there's a bolt and a washer, or on the other side over here, there's a plastic fitting to hold the handle down. That's all I had. I uh, went through my parts, and I did not have anything. So let's just see what it sounds like. Uh, I've heard it run. It, it, uh, it's, it's that typical thing, right? It starts and stalls. So let's just give it a go. So the next thing I'm going to do is tie the bale down and we're going to just see if we can squirt some carb spray into the carburetor. I needed a little one like this, you know, in between the tough ones. Okay, let's get that air filter off here and we'll have a look at the air filter. I think with a little bit of air pressure it'll be just fine. So it's been used a little bit, eh? Let's just spray it right now with some air and see how it comes out. Okay, I would call that acceptable. One little dark spot. Now, carburetors. Do we use carburetor spray or do we use uh, two-stroke priming fuel? I like two-stroke priming fuel a little better. So let's just back you up a little bit. Got the clamp on the bale. actually drinking I wasn't pumping it much but in between like I left it for about 30 seconds it was actually drinking right out of the can and into the carburetor just from the intake pressure so that's a good sign so let's get it up on the hoist get it up on the hoist and I'm gonna do the dark and dirty uh, jet removal clean possible Widen the jet, the main jet, if we can get it off. Okay, so come with me over here and we're going to actually have a look at the fuel before we start getting crazy. Maybe there's water in it or it's old or dirty or something. 
Be right back, guys. It's got fuel. Actually, I think it's going to be acceptable. So, here's that. Stats! Straight one or a bent one? Right there. Okay. So, now I'm not going to... Uh, carburetor off unless I have to. I've got some really nice little tools that I've sent to me and I, please forgive me, I do not remember the gentleman's name that sent those to me. So, 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, right? It's gonna, it's gonna drip a little, of course. Whistle clean. You can't ask for more than that, eh? So now I'm going to just remove that. And I've got this super cool phantasmagorical little tiny screwdriver with a blunt end. That's for, you need that. You don't want a, sh you don't want a wide shank, eh? A wider shank. Let's just see if we can get that jet out of there. There it is. Yep, we're going to get her. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful thing? And it's partially clogged. So now we're going to do this right in front of you guys. If you can see, we'll use uh, we'll use some sunlight. Can you see there? That there's a hole through there. Barely, hey. Eh? There. So now. And just squirt backwards through here first because that's how the dirt got there the other way. And then we squirt this way. I think I'm gonna cheat a little bit. And the last time I did this, I used the blue one. This is okay. This is a micro a micro drill bit. That is not the drill bit. It is there. See that? How small that is? We're just gonna see if this is the one that. Okay, it's it's. A little bit sticky, so let's go get the one that's one step smaller to make sure that passes through there real easy. Yes, it does. So I'm going to just drill this out so carefully, right? And that's her. Now we clean it out with the spray again. Oh yeah, now, now you can see. Now I did, there might have been some goo in there too, right? 
We don't make it. It's all it's all a matter of there we go, right there. Let's get that back in there. If we can. I'm pretty confident that this is gonna work because the carburetor didn't have any dirt in it. You don't want to cross thread them. Okay, it's getting tight. Right, do it three times. Good. Okay. Now the hole in the back of it. I'm going to get, just get a mirror. The mirror will go. Just make sure that that rubber seal is still in there. Yes it is. All the way around. Looks good. Move that. That's easily breakable. There, it's back in the tool drawer where it belongs. Okay, let's get this on here now. Put my micro drill bits back up on the bench. Good. Tilt it to make sure there's nothing missing on that rubber seal and let the gas go. Put the lid on. What do you think my chances are? We also did jet that we also did jet that little guy, didn't we? So that should help with the fuel flow. I'm gonna lower this down. Gonna lower it down. So a safer altitude. We're gonna see if she runs. Got oil. There's no filter right now. And let's see if she goes. For some reason my little tack wouldn't work on there, but the, the uh, lead to the coil is right up inside there. I couldn't get clipped on with the wire or with just, you can either touch them or the wire goes through that hole, those two holes, it's the same thing, it's induced. 
and I couldn't get a I couldn't get a good reading on the RPM, but it, it sounds just great. <laughs> I'm just going to have a quick look at the blade. It looks a little rough. Yeah, I better. Just touch it. That looks like a 5 8. How bad is this? Yeah, it needs just a quick touch up, eh? 5 8, baby. Chug, 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 chug. I'll be back. Just gonna check the balance. I tell you, MTD puts out a pretty good blade. I seem to be double checking the uh, torque now. Mm, a little tight. I swear to goodness, somewhere... Somewhere there's a mountain of grass bag. Perfect. I just got a couple more cosmetic things to do and we're done. Okay, one last final try on this guy. <laughs> 